Okay. Uh, so how's everybody doing? Um, I've been meaning to make a few videos. Um, so I made a couple today, just in general. Uh, there'll be this one and Epic Seven one. I might put one out today and one out tomorrow, or if they both come out today, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I guess for April Fools, my uh, Nox uh, emulator decided to just stop working. So I've you know been dealing with that for about a week, but. Uh, so today, finally, we're on uh, Blue Stacks, and it's working pretty well. So here we are. But the main thing uh, I was introduced today was just a summoning for those of you who've already seen. Um, I wanted to summon on this kind of. Um, as soon as I saw Dagger, I really wanted her as a unit. Uh, she just looks really interesting. A lot of fun. Looks kind of strong. Um, we have the um, Fallen Ike weapon here. Uh, with some five or with plus five already uh so you know it's kind of strong the pathfinder i can take it or leave it it really it's not that big a deal um but just the fact that uh she's got so she's just a huge stat ball is basically it um but the problem is it's like for one i've already got too many green x units that i've like have i'm working with right now so for one obviously we've got hannah ninja hannah uh, and ashidna it's just like, mm. I mean, obviously, I didn't plan on plus tenning her or anything, and, and it's going to be kind of hard to do it on this banner. Um, but I'm kind of like probably not going to summon on this because if you look here, red is kind of crap. I mean, it's only Regan, but who cares? Um, Regan at like low merges is already very strong as it is anyway. Just a just Seder shell and Kanto, like basically that's all she is. She's just a Seder shell Kanto. Um, I don't know wielder or whatever. Because uh, other than that, she doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, but, yeah, so, so the, the red is kind of crap. Blue is also kind of bad. Um, blue blue Lucina hasn't been useful for like a very long time, especially since Blue Crow came out. Or, not Crow, Blue Crom. Um, yeah, so he's just too strong. Uh, this guy is the most annoying thing in PvE I've ever met. Uh, probably he, he's up there with, he's like the new uh, Surter. In terms of how annoying it is when you're just like doing something PVE and it's like, like if you're if you're sitting there autoing like all day on your um what's that game mode the um the forging bonds thing for like you know HM or whatever like it's always this guy that it causes you to end runs just the same way it's like um uh, what's his name just the same way a lot of times it is the uh, the Surter who does that as well. So he's just another one of those like insanely hard to kill units without a lot of proper setup and, and paying attention, which is kind of annoying. But in terms of like, yeah, he's just annoying. That's about it. I mean, it's like he's not very useful if you're going to like build him. He's still just going to get dumped on by like a lot of different units. But, you know, it's just annoying running into him every so often. Uh, and then of course, we have Guinevere here. Uh, Guinevere. Um, very strong unit, of course, but not something I'm too interested in. And the fodder is kind of wonky. Uh, obviously these two are very good and you can inherit them both to one person. Uh, but it's not like something I, I, I need that much. I mean, speed res is a lot better than, than low attack res and yeah, so not that interesting. Uh, so that basically leaves us with two more, right? So either green, which green is pretty good because obviously we, we've got her. Oh, we've got Freya, which I obviously, I, I need, I need at least one merge or not one merge, but one copy of. Not, not because I'm going to like necessarily use her on offense, but just because um, I kind of like her. So it's just like, oh, you know, may as well have one of all the mythic units. Um, so there's that. Um, and then uh, obviously Edelgard, which she's an awesome unit. Uh, is this the right one? I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the uh, multiple attack one. So this is the Gale Force one. You run Gale Force on her, theoretically. Yeah, okay. Kind of. I think I think this is the right one. I'm not entirely sure, though. On oh, an Armored Stride. Uh, but yeah, so... She's alright. She's kind of fun. She's kind of interesting, but... Not necessarily anything I'm, necess um, I'm after. So the only thing I'd be after in green, if I were to snipe green, would be the uh, Dagger... Uh, the other ones are just nice to have, but they're not really worth pulling for. And just like that, you know, Corrin is back again. However, the problem being that she shares with um, Sarah, who I also do not want, and uh, 
Bremimond, who I also don't really want. Now, Bremimond is very strong, don't get me wrong, and, you know, anybody's uh, defense team, arena defense team, would de benefit to have him. Just just having him in there, period, uh, is a huge threat. But as, a, as someone who want, who runs flyer balls and wants to kind of mainly just run flyers, um, he's not very interesting to me. Um, but that's just kind of my own stubbornness in that way. So, you know, take it for what you will. I think Colorless is probably going to be one of the stronger ones just because he's such a strong... Um, Strong defense because in terms of investing your orbs, investing in defense is a lot better because uh, it gets you higher, not higher returns necessarily, but it goes further because every little bit of power on defense h helps uh, secure victories. Whereas like on offense, like the more you invest into offense is diminishing returns because I can already, I can kind of stop if, uh, investing in offense and be all the same for it, right? Because... I'm already winning most of my matchups on offense. It's just that my defense suffers so much it drags me down a lot, right? So that's something to consider for where you are. It's just realizing that investing in offense is uh, kind of not, not necessarily a trap, but it's kind of, you know, kind of a trap for... Um, it's kind of overkill a lot of times for most of us because, I mean, we can already win a lot on our offenses and, and, and not worry too much about it, but we, we end up losing a lot on defense. So just keep that in mind for most of you. It's just that... Um, when defense mythics or strong defense mythics like Bramimon, who's an excellent choice, um, are going to be a lot better investments than just running, like just pulling another another light unit, which I've already got, you know, you've already got the two best. I mean, if you have Peony, you've already got the best light unit uh, in the game for, as for uh, light season. Uh, everything else is just kind of, you know, extra on top of that. So just something to consider. Uh, so that's kind of my thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to come in here and just like burn our free summon real quick and Try to get green. Come on. Nothing. This guy looks like... I don't know what he looks like. But he looks like a douche. So that was that. I um, just kind of want to do that. There's really no reason to spend orbs on this because it's not giving me anything that's going to help patch anything else up. However, this right here is kind of interesting. Uh, these two kind of crap. I mean, she doesn't do anything. Uh, even with her refine, it's kind of like, eh, who cares? Uh, and then her, obviously, she, she like if you get her plus ten and you get her refine and everything, she can be kind of interesting. Um, but it's kind of annoying because most uh, dragon slayers are already red, um, so she's just gonna die no matter what. Uh, whereas something like Noe, she's blue, so she can counter a lot of the dragon slayers. Not not very well. She's still probably gonna die a lot of the time, but you got some. You can stand a kind of a chance there. So that's something to consider. Uh, the other thing, uh, but the main thing here, right, is Bector. Um, now, let's go back again to this. These rates are 4% for a focus unit, and Bector isn't color sharing, so it's 4% to pull a Bector, where as we consider, if we consider a Legendary Banner, which has some of the better rates, which is 8% in total, uh, the problem with that is that's 8% divided among three units, which means that each one gets a little less than 3%, so it's like, what, 2 point something percent? Um, like two points, not two point five, right? Because two point five by three is seven point five, so it's a little higher than two point five percent. Um, so the bottom line is between two and three percent for every for each unit, right? If you want to snipe on dagger, but over here, here are rates. It's four percent, even though the overall percentage of getting a five star goes down to six. It's four percent that it'll be, um. Bector, which is significantly higher. Now, am I? I have six hundred orbs, right? About. Am I gonna sit here and make a whole video about trying to plus ten my Bector? Uh, probably not. But I've never pulled on one of these weekly revival banners or like considered like these mathematics for these lower banners. It's usually just kind of like, oh, I need this skill, I need this, so I'm kind of focusing on that kind of stuff. Uh, so this video is kind of an experiment, uh, both for me to see and for you guys to see, because again, a lot of people like I don't see a lot of videos people posting. Uh, summoning on these weekly focus revival banners and and you know sometimes like you'll see a youtuber you know no specific examples or anything like that but sometimes you'll see someone and you know next week they have like a you know a plus eight vector now and they used to have like a plus one or something oh what happened there was the did this banner this revival banner treat them well or something like that or is like is, is it really that mathematically uh, worthwhile um so I'm gonna I'm gonna try my hand at this. I'm going to uh, summon until I get one vector, and we'll see where we are from there. You know, if I do like ten summons and I get a vector, I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, we'll see. Um, I'm, but I'm not gonna like you know invest everything in there because like I said, there's still a lot of 
skills I need. So whenever Tip Barn comes back, I need to pull for him. Uh, what else? Now, there's a few other things, but there's not a whole lot of like... The reason I have 600 orbs is just, there's nothing gotcha related that's been coming out that I've really wanted too much. Um, that amazing... Um, banner came out a while ago the um you know the hero rises banner came out i didn't even summon on that which goes to show you which you can kind of use as a measurement of like how maybe how, how not very good i am at this game or or just how like underwhelmed i am by certain a lot of the banners that's something so so high tier in terms of quality and and orb return was available and i didn't really care too much uh, but that's maybe because like a lot of people really wanted the the ninja lin more than anything um and i know because we all got one for free from the thing because everybody voted for her but that's you know saltiness aside um but yeah so the ninja lin came out um a lot of people like you know plus 10 or not plus 10 necessarily but try to get high merges on her and i think i, I was sort of disillusioned by it because i kind of have i already have a plus 10 byleth and she kind of does something very similar if not like Obviously, they're not exactly the same. Um, plus 10, uh, your, your Ninja Lin is there to quad people. Uh, and then take multiple turns and kind of just PvE an entire team where um, Byleth can't really do that. She's just kind of good nuker. But there is some similarities between the two. So I just kind of was like, you know what? Uh, a single target nuker that flies and uh, has like built-in desperation and all this other stuff. And you can't counter. You can't, you can, it's hard to counter both of them because Ninja Lin doubles you before you get to your counter attack. So a lot of times you end up dying or Byleth, you just can't counter her if you're physical. So um yeah i don't know it, it, it it's what you depends on what you what you um valued th at that point and a lot of people did value that ninja lin so there it goes um i just didn't have a whole lot of use for her and i wasn't about to spend you know orbs to get her to plus 10 so yeah uh, but like i said let's let's kind of enough of that talking let's just kind of get in here and see how many vectors i can pull uh it'd be funny if this is the first one yep um it was kind of let's go back what was kind of interesting to me today, anyway, was uh, pulling on the um, on the triple limited banner. I got quite lucky on that. So either maybe some of that luck will carry over into this, or I burned it all up <clears throat> on that. On that, who knows? Um, but yeah, one of the interesting things to me about these this 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 specifically this banner. Oh, there you go. There's a vector. So I, not even ten summons, right? In three summons, I got a vector, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the other thing, so let's kind of take a look at what AVs I got. Yeah, plus HP, pretty cool. Uh, let's just do another one. I guess we'll we'll go for two, considering how fast that one was. Um, let's go for a second vector. Right now, so basically, I'm at plus three. Let's see if we can uh, see how far we can push this without losing too many orbs. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying was one of the most interesting things about this is that Vector is part of that um, crew, part of that crew of units that got kind of not not like demoted, but like for those of you who have been pulling recently, uh, sometimes you have a chance to pull a four star and then it upgrades itself to a five star. Uh, and Vector is one of those units that's in that pool of like they can you can get them as five stars, uh, four stars, and they'll turn into five stars. Uh, so you have, you know, basically you're doubling your chances of getting a vector, right? Because you can pull them as a five star because of the six, the the four percent you have to pull them, and then there's the four percent chance uh, in the in the small ones. Now I might be wrong about that in terms of like that might be only for certain banners, and maybe you know this banner doesn't have that, um, like you know, quote mechanic in there. But um, it's still interesting nonetheless. Yeah, let's go back and stop. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to mention here? Okay, so this rate's going up. Yeah, so special rate. I think that's what this is, right? This is a 3% chance to get a, a 4-star that turns into a 5-star. Uh, and Vector should be in there. Let's, have, let's actually go double-check that just so I don't, like, talking... Talking sheer nonsense here. Okay, 4-star special rate, right? So there's a lot of 5-stars in here that we should be able to see. Um, yeah, see, look. Lucina Future Witness is there. So this is where the 4-stars turn 5-stars are. Hector, Brave Warrior, right? So that's kind of what the point of, I wanted to make was we kind of have like double, not double, right? There's a, if we're pulling on blue only, that blue has a what? Four plus two is uh, six, so plus that 90 something. So let's just say 7% chance to just get a vector either through this banner or that. Um, but yeah. Let's see. So my rates are increased here, so this is pretty good. 
uh, Cordelia. So far, we're not. So far, I guess the first one <laughs> was a freebie, and the second one was like the second one is kind of taking longer to come out. That's all right. Let's just kind of see how this how this treats us. Um, so at this point, I think what I let's see stop. So at this point, uh, I, I think what I'm gonna do is just like wait till I get to the next vector and stop. And you can this better not reset my pity, and it better be an echidna. Oh. My echidnas are like plus seven. I think right now, and I just I, I never pull any more copies of her. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna, given how this has gone after the first one, I figured we'd get a little bit more considering how fast that first one came. But um, the second one is actually taking long enough for me to be like, okay, I think uh, after we pull one more, we'll uh, we'll call it quits there. Hopefully we. It'd be nice if we got like a whole ring of blues, and then you know one of them was Vector. That'd be that'd be, or not one of them. A few of them were Vector, more than one at least. It'd be pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, let's go back. Stop. Let's see where we are here on our appearance rates. So so long as we're pulling on blue, we have a six, like a six and a half percent chance, right? Is that right? Six? No, seven and a half. There we go. Seven and a half percent chance. Oof, okay. Hey, it's Robin. So for, oh man, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I uh, actually cleared a lot more than I needed to considering we're only gonna go until one more vector. Uh, but I think, I guess for like what? 100-ish orbs, we're not at 100 yet, but 100-ish orbs, we got two vectors, which isn't so bad. Um, I think what at that rate right let's pretend well less than 100 orbs right so maybe 80 let's go with 80 well let's go look at how many orbs i have now let's go see what kind of um attack which i, I already have a plus attack one so it's not too too good or bad uh the focus is 4.6 i don't want to spend what 15 orbs to get greens and and reds um so we started off with 591 so yeah i'd say something about like 80 uh, so at 80 orbs, we got two. At that rate, which means my vector is now plus four, um, which means I need six more. So 80 times three, right, is 240. So for 200 extra orbs, give or take, right, it might be 300. It might be, like, it's just about 240, but it might be 300 or it might be, like, uh, 200 if I'm really lucky. Um, I could probably plus 10... Uh, my vector, which is kind of just what I wanted to see, right? Ne not necessarily spend a bunch, but like I said, I, I kind of like the first one we got so soon that I may as well spend a little more to get the next one. Um, let's go look here. Because, you know, luck-wise, I may have just gotten like the, the amount of orbs I spent now could have been, you know, for, for, for me usually a lot of times, but, you know, it's been pretty good lately. Uh, but usually, right for for I think most of us, um, the, the orbs I spent now would have been what I had what I would have spent for just one copy of Vector, right? So um, that's kind of what that's kind of what why I went for the second one was that like otherwise I would have spent a lot more for for a lot less, um, and I was grateful to get that first one. So I, I figured let's just dump a little more in there. Um, so in terms of, I guess I can kind of, let's talk about Vector for a little bit. I may turn this into a Vector, uh, showcase for, for anyone, uh, who's still not, uh, convinced in the way of, uh, the way of the Vector. Um, so let's take a look at his build. Uh, his, I have swap on him just for the sake of having it on him. Cause then what else? Uh, I also have him a plus 10 flowers. And as soon as the flower cap is going to, uh, gets increased, I'm just going to give him another five flowers, like immediately. So we can kind of come over here. Let's just merge them up real quick. Uh, I'll talk about uh, his boon and bane and all that stuff and what, what you might want later. Um, so plus three. Uh, I got speed. That's annoying. Uh, so the plus three is a worthless um, <laughs> endeavor. Uh, let's see what plus four gets us. Uh, we should get like attack and defense, I think. Yeah, attack and defense. All right, so... The next one should probably be HP and res uh, at a plus five, which 
is kind of what I want. I, I do need, he does need a little more res because his res is kind of eh, but um, it's not that big a deal. His res is never going to be good, basically, is the bottom line. I think his res will hit like 36 at most or something like that. Uh, so let's come over here and flowers. So as you can see here, Bector is plus 10. Uh, no, as you can, basically, that wasn't the thing I wanted to show. was not Bector, but let's just get there while we're there. Here. Um, as you can see up in the top right hand side, uh, this is my green flowers. I have 100 and whatever. I could plus 10 any armor unit I want if I wanted to right now. But the reason these two are so high is because there is no units I want to. Right, there aren't enough, you know, tank units that I I want to plus ten flowers, and all the ones I have I've already done, right? So he's already plus ten. Um. Oh, I I can't I forgot I had this guy, Thunder Armads. Um. Who's the other one? Uh, plus ten to her, right? Um, so I've plus ten a few, a couple armors at least. Not her, her stats don't mean anything. Uh, but, I've, you know, a couple at least, but there aren't really a whole lot of armor units I'm very um, enticed into uh, boosting, mainly because of, you know, the obvious armor weakness. Uh, but obviously, you know, as we all know, by, by now, Bector is not just like any armor, because his uh, refine, as we can see here, removes his effective against armor weakness, which is insane. Basically the strongest... Um, Basically, the strongest uh, buff he, he's he, he's been given out of that um, out of that refine. Um, so that's that. Uh, the other thing. So let's again, like I said, let's talk about the build a little bit. Um, now, is my build the end all be all? Not necessarily, but uh, it, it's definitely a very strong build, and it's definitely a very common build that you'll see, and we'll kind of walk through why you see it like that. Um, so first of all, let's, let's let's start at the top. So we'll talk about his um, weapon. So a special trigger minus one. Um, this is already one of the, like the best things you could put on him because this gives him so much utility. Um, when I, before he got this refine, he wasn't a very good tanker. So what I would used to do with him was use him as a um, just a, a, a distant counter um, tank unit, gale force. Uh, so you you make sure he had the someone to give him the the, the armor march. You like smite him into a group of guys uh, because of this with this combined with um, bold fighter meant that he could uh, double someone, hopefully kill them, uh, gale force, and then you know double someone else, and then hopefully you've taken out two targets by that point. That would have been a threat to him on on enemy phase, and then you just sit there and let him tank everyone else, and theoretically he should kill them, uh, which never worked out the kind of the way you'd want it to back then. So, you know, it was fun to do sometimes whenever I could do it, but there was a lot of cases where you really couldn't do it, especially with, like, things like Thrasir on defense. Um, yeah, I mean, mainly Thrasir and, you know, Bramimon. If, you know, granted, you could kind of kill Thrasir a lot of the times be with the Bold Fighter, um, but, you know, it's iffy, and there's a lot of other stuff to consider. Um, but, yeah, Gale Force, if you wanted to Gale Force, that was what originally I did with him for fun because he wasn't a very good tank. Um... So then also the second line, uh, we also neutralize the tank effectiveness, so there we go. The third line is actually a lot better than it used to be. Um, he used to have the follow-up, but he used to be 50%, so he had doubles on enemy phase and player phase because Bold, Bold Fighter let him double on your turn. Uh, and then he had his weapon to basically you know get a follow-up attack. Uh, and then as long as you're over 25, what they added on here is penalties no longer mean anything to him. So you, he, he can get panicked mannered. He can get uh, bright shrine, dark shrine, like everything. He can get all the debuffs, but none of them, you know, will matter. So basically when you're talking about looking at Bector, these are his starting stats and they'll never go lower than this. V they'll never visibly go lower than this on, you know, when he's fighting people, they have like a during combat reduce, whatever. Those are still going to go through, obviously. Um, but as long as he's over 25%, you never have to worry about, you know, his visible stats going lower. Uh, so that's pretty good. He doesn't have to worry about uh, all those debuffs and whatnot. Uh, so that in, in and of itself is already one of the stronger, like, already makes him very strong. But what puts him over the edge is this bottom green text here. Uh, so if he if they initiate on him, which is basically the, way, the only way you want to play him because he's never very good on, on player phase now uh, but so if they initiate on him not only does he get the double and his uh uh penalties are are negated 
he also inflicts uh, attack defense minus six. So basically making their attacks weaker. Uh, raw attack like raw attack reduction is one of the best ways to make yourself tanky because if we're if he's fighting against a green and a green does 10 damage the weapon triangle efficiency will make that do um 15 damage so they're getting five free damage out of just being green effective right but if you reduce their attack by six down to four their weapon their um the green effectiveness is only giving them two extra attacks. So now they're only doing six in total rather than 15 before. That's just a simple like way to look at it mathematically. But it's kind of the way, you know, that's just, you know that's, a, that's an ideal example, I guess, right? In, in the real world, there's a lot of other things to, to consider when you're fighting and you'll lose a lot of green matchups anyway. But at a basic level, reducing their attack is the best way to get tanky rather than just like, oh, let me dump a lot of, um, a lot of stats into... Uh, res right so it basically just reducing their attack is the best way they could have made them tanky and it's actually just very strong uh and then on top of the fact that you also reduce their defense by six so that you do more damage against them um and they can't make a follow-up attack which is uh pretty good right so basically not, not only are you getting tanky by reducing their actual attack stat you're also being tanky because now they can't double you they have to get you with the one shot and it's going to be really hard to do that against specter um, so like I said, this, this weapon here is probably one of the better weapons of all the refines we got out of, uh, season two refines or whatever, if you want to call them, the, uh, uh, CYL2 refines, but yeah, so that's one of the main reasons, uh, swap again, swap is here just cause, you know, I mean, I don't really know what else to put on him. Um, it's, it's been doing good since, since the first time I put it on him and I haven't had any complaints, so I just left it. Um, now we've got uh, Bonfire. So again, this is something that's affected by this. So basically, because you can uh, reduce it by two, means you can run stronger um, stronger specials than most people can because they're basically not as big anymore. And it's what lets him run Gale Force because Gale Force becomes four turn. Uh, and with combined with Bold Fighter, you just charge it on one initiation. Um, so Bonfire is here because 50% of his defense is actually pretty insane. Uh, one of the higher damaging specials you can get given him because he's got uh 43 if we pretend it's 44 that's 22 that's 22 attack or 22 damage on top of whatever like he's going to hit them for so that's pretty good um and we'll talk about so this yeah so it, you can see here what makes vector such a good unit is a lot of the stuff weighs into each other so this affects this and then you put on special fighter and then it affects this and that is being multiplied by this right so all these things uh work into each other and make him, you know, what he is, right? So the fact that Bonfire is a two cooldown special is now made even better by the fact that you can just run Special Fighter on him. Uh, and now he gets hit once and retaliates every single time with a bold, with a, with a Bonfire. Um, so basically you one-shot everyone. And if you don't one-shot, the guaranteed follow-up attack you get from this will basically make sure they die, right? So that's kind of what is the, is the point there. Um... So yeah, I mean, you know, I guess let's keep going down. The bonfire, that's why it's so strong. Uh, Austin counter, of course, you're never going to replace this unless, I don't know, something insane comes out. But I, I kind of doubt because he's been here for, you know, who knows how long, three years, I guess now. Uh, he's been here for so long. Regardless, he's been here for so long um, that we've gotten other, you know, distant counters and whatnot, and none of them have ever surpassed this. So, you know, I doubt we're going to get I doubt like anything's going to be better than this in the A slot, um, which was makes him, you know, again, repeating myself here, what makes him so strong is that he has not only a very strong perf weapon, but also they gave him an insane refine and he had one of the best uh, distant counter skills built in already, right? Um, so yeah, not to mention this gives you more defense for this, right? So now you're at 47. If we're close to 48, you're doing 24 damage. Uh, which I guess with a few merges, you could probably boost this up a little more, but you know, that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, if foe initiates combat, you get plus four attack defense. There you go. Just distant counter, but better. Um, uh, and I already mentioned special fighter, but special fighter also serves the purpose of making him even tankier because now it's harder for them to kill you with a special because you have the minus, the uh, plus one, the minus one cooldown charge to your enemy. Um, Right, because one of the only ways to kill Vector is by hitting him with some sort of like very strong special or single turning him, 
but that's really hard to do when he's constantly keeping you from charging your special and yeah so you know fire sweep weapons and you know just wind sweep on certain characters uh, are a good way to deal with him but they're still very they're still not they're not that good because um because of this skill because you know you have to charge them on top of that which is why mainly i run which is why i run um young pala to counter him and she has to have the heavy blade so that she can overcome the special fighter uh, reduction or whatever. So there you go. Special fighter is probably his best one in slot here uh, for survivability and offense, like I said. So you can counter with a bonfire and just like one shot everyone. Uh, attack smoke is here just to give him more survivability because like I said, um, the biggest way to make him tanky is to reduce their attack. Uh, but it's actually, I have it on him because I don't have, an, well, I do have a few, but I don't have any that I'm like easy to, I'm, that I'm ready to just give away really easily, even though he's probably going to be one of the better investments to use it on. Um, but yeah, so I have attack smoke because uh, pulse smoke would be better so that if, if he initiates or someone initiates on him, he's reducing people's cooldowns before they even come into the fight. So if someone has like a, a IP team and you can smite him in there, fight one enemy by himself, um, pulse smoke everyone. So now all their like, uh, specials are are at one they fight into him they won't get their specials and they're just gonna die right um so that's kind of that uh pulse smoke like i said it's kind of premium so you know i've kind of been debating it but after probably after these two merges i'm just gonna give it to him so keep that in mind uh the two best to run to me anyway are probably going to be the pulse smoke and the attack smoke because the attack smoke like i said reduces their attack by seven which basically gives you so much more tank um, for resisting not only just regular enemies but also resisting uh, green enemies, um, your you know your counter because you know now before your only counter your counter was like uh, tank destroyers and greens but now it's just greens um, and not even that a lot of the time a lot of times there aren't a lot of greens that can really kill you without you know that easily unless they have like a wind sweep or a fire sweep because you can, you're still just going to counter them with the bonfire uh, and and there's not a whole lot of green units that can just take that to the face. Uh, lastly, Mystic Boost. So Mystic Boost and Bonfire are two things that you see a lot of changing. So when people have, um, when people have an extra pulse smoke, they'll give it to him. So the rest of this is kind of you know standard. So you're gonna have obviously that's gonna be there, that's gonna be there. Pulse smoke's gonna be here. Um, obviously, this, I mean you're never gonna change that. Uh, there's no reason to. But these two are what change a lot of the times. Uh, so you might be asking, um, is Bonfire better than Soul? Soul is i have i have both of them so we can kind of look here so you can see here we have soul i have soul here i have uh gale force here bonfire so there's all that stuff right so soul is better for long fights so if you're doing like if you want to auto tempest trials you, you run soul on him and nothing can kill him right like he's just gonna go through the he's gonna like you can go to the level seven i mean He'll run into some problems sometimes. There's enough green units. And um, since if you're autoing, he's going to try to attack into people a lot of times and get himself killed. So that's a problem. But for the most part, if you want to, like, you know, go through all that and survive it all because your teammates are going to die usually, um, you want soul for that. Um, but if I, I use him, for those of you who've seen some of my older videos, I use him on offense in Astra season. You can use him on either season, honestly. I think he'd probably be better on... It might be better on light season because you can patch this up with the uh, with the light blessing, make it make it so that he's more all rounded. Um, but regardless, whatever season you're running on him on, you're gonna run a run. You're gonna want to run the bonfire because the bonfire gives you um, one shot kill secure. Uh, one of the, his problems is that a lot of times, like if you run into a thrasier, thrasier is one of the like things you have to consider with him the most is that he, you're gonna have to fight her on like every every team on Astra season yeah he's on Astra season now you're gonna fight not every team's gonna have a Thrasir but a lot of them are going to have one so you're gonna have to run bonfire on him to make sure that like because she can double you and kill you but if she hits you once and you counterattack and just kill her she won't be able to kill you most of the time unless they've got like a plus 10 super tanky Thrasir for whatever reason but the bottom line is that securing the follow-up kill without letting them double is going to increase your survivability, you know, infinitely more than than um, than running soul, right? Um, because, you know, 
if you kill if they if they hit you and you hit them back and then they hit you again and they survive and then they get danced you can't really take that many thrasers right so that's kind of why the bonfire is here um and it's okay to run that now specifically back then it was a little harder to run it over the soul because we didn't have any healing but then they gave us mystic boost in the sacred seal slot which basically means after every fight he has he's gonna get six hp and there's gonna be a lot of like Thrasir is one of the only people who's actually just going to do any damage, period, to him. A lot of other matchups are just going to run into him and do zero damage, just like clink off of him. And basically, he just got six healing from that fight, and he deleted a unit, right? So that's kind of one of the things that's like very good about Bike, is like 90% of the matchups, well, let's go down to 80%. 80% of matchups, they're not going to do any damage to him, and then the other 20%, He's just gonna one shot them back theoretically is what you're you know what the goal is here um so that's kind of what the point is there now there are some i think like uh jill uh i forgot what her name was she looks like one of, she's a green archer she recently came out she has like insane damage it's ridiculous um but her she can destroy him um but yeah so hopefully for those of you who may have uh wondered how to build vector or why he's so good um you can take away something from here and, and learn that uh, what the better ways to build them are. Um, of course, I'm, it's it's hard to it's hard not to to be tempted to go and try to uh, plus ten him because you know for like I said for less than like a hundred orbs I already got a you know two more merges uh, at a hundred more orbs I could get well actually what it's like so if it's a hundred orbs if it's about a hundred orbs per two merges. I need six merges, so I need about 300 orbs, and that leaves me with uh, 200 extra um, left over. Um, again, it's a pretty good deal uh, for the orbs, but for one, this is mainly an experiment, and it's it's best to not let yourself get carried away by things like this. Uh, just because I got good luck and got two of them in, in so little orbs doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be like that for the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, if if you saw, if you're if you're watching this and you feel like, um, you know, Bechter is as good an investment as, let's see, what is, oh, this is Ignis, that's interesting, uh, as I make him out to be, and then by all means, um, you know, if it's, it, for 11, I, we could pull up the math thing here at the um, the summon calculator on whatever, but uh, I think, you know, we can kind of just, with simple math, probably with about 500 orbs or something like that, you could probably plus 10 him. Uh, right, because if it, if it's two copies per hundred orbs, that's ten copies. Um, but you know, that's there's a lot of fluctuation in that because it's not exactly hundred orbs, as you saw here. It was like eighty. So with a lot with 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 decent luck, you could probably pull all eleven of them in those five hundred orbs, uh, and not be too disappointed. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, he's just a very strong unit in basically every every facet of the game. Uh, as long as they attack into him, because again, the other problem is that if you try to auto a lot of stuff with it. And, He'll try to like attack into people and then get himself killed because he can't really do that very well. Uh, but I think after this, well, I guess we can just do it on on camera here. Let's go and uh, let's go find out who I have that has pull smoke. And I I, I kind of didn't want to do this because uh, you guys are gonna see that I have actually quite a lot of pull smokes, but I'm just kind of hesitant to use them. Uh, that's a lot lower. There we go. Defense smoke, 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 pull smoke. I actually have quite a few of them. So obviously Felicia has it because it's very strong. She has it because it's very strong. Um, and I have these. Now, I have not ever used Lilina in anything. But it's kind of hard to just give up a whole legendary, especially with all the fodder that she has. So here, here's the main reason why I haven't given it to him, right? Not necessarily because he doesn't deserve it, but more so because it's like... Look at how much fodder we're losing. So if I give him the pulse smoke, all he's going to get is the pulse smoke. Like this, he's not, I mean, he can use this. I can give it to him, but he's not going to, I'm not going to take out Osti encounter for the attack res solo, right? And he's obviously not going to be wearing this. Um, so you can see kind of why, you know, it, it, it's hard to, to justify just like giving it to him because I'd be losing a lot of fodder on top of the fact that I'm losing out on a very strong cav unit, right? You know, Lilina is actually just a really good unit in general. Um, even though, like I said, I don't use any cab units, but she could be a lot of fun to use in arena, uh, and just running around sniping everybody. Uh, and the other, and here's, here's the other example of like, actually plus one merged her, uh, which I don't regret. I'm actually kind of happy. I like her. Um, 
definitely um, pretty awesome. And she just looks cool. Um, but she also just happened to have like a really strong weapon and all this kind of stuff. I actually use her in Real Core Sieges. Is that is that it? Yeah, the one where you get to use the summoner and you have to fight the enemies that are trying to get to the little doors. I use her as that uh, forward position, the one that can get hit but can hit other people. Uh, because combined with Blazing, uh, Blazing Wind, combined with uh, Special Spiral, means that after you get the first one off, the first... Um, first blazing wind off like every subsequent like attack will have the blazing wind fully charged already so um that's something to consider uh but was the main point wait how is that i'm not entirely sure i don't remember two it should be down to one i don't know how we get the fourth one but whatever uh the main point being <clears throat> i don't regret um doing um merging one and losing a pulse smoke but it, it is hard to justify giving pulse smoke to someone where again uh, she's got so much fodder. I mean, she's got special spiral. She's got the the life and death four. Um, she's got the, the the pulse smoke. But if anything, I'm probably gonna fodder this off to to bike uh, because there's not a whole lot of units I need that have that I have that need life and death, and I have other copies of life and death. Um, and special spiral. There's a lot of special spirals both in the uh, the manuals, and you know it's not that strong a skill anymore for a lot of units. There's a lot of other um, C, uh, B slot skills that you can use instead. So I think uh, because her fodder is kind of like falling off a little more and her as a unit, I've already got a plus one her. I'm not going to like fuse another one in there. Um, I think she, I think she'd be fine um, just losing her for a pull smoke. So I think let's just do that. Let's just do it right now. As long as I'm here talking. Um, actually, let's go and find... Obviously, I'm not going to run it on him, but as long as I'm taking Pulse Smoke, may as well take the life and death. Uh, where are we looking here? I don't know where it is. It should be around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so let's take uh, someone's life and death three. Um, wow. Apparently, it's very strong fodder. Uh, let's just go over here. So glimmer. I don't have glimmer for some reason. Okay. So we're taking life and death one, two, and three, and we'll just take hers. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna run life and death on him, but it's certainly uh, an interesting prospect. Nope. Let's put you there. Is that the right one? Yeah, it's the plus one one. Uh, what does she need? I guess she needed. Honestly, I think. Yeah, I think she's fine like that. I was just thinking about uh, what what Bane or what Boon would have been better. Uh, I think speed probably would have been better, but attack is good too. Uh, so let's just take her uh, life and death four. Can he? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I didn't know that. I forgot that armors could take this, but this isn't really good on armors. Because uh, special spiral is just the way to go. Uh, and I'll have to silence that. Uh, yeah, so we're just taking it just to take it. Um, so let's go in there and uh, make our final form vector here. Uh, learn skills. As you can see here, he's got like 99 SP, and he's he's always at plus. He's always at uh, the max HM cap because I'm always using him for everything. Um, but yeah. One of the, the, the best things about Pulse Smoke is it works whether you engage or they engage. So if they're, if they're constantly engaging in on you, let's go look at the last one here. We can read it. <clears throat> Inflicts uh, special cooldown count plus one on target and foes within two spaces after combat. Um, whereas certain, like if, if you're looking at attack smoke, if they attack into you, the attack smoke doesn't work, right? So let's go look at that just in, just real quick. Inflicts uh, on two foes of target through the next actions after... Oh, no, I guess it does work. Okay, never mind. Hmm. I think... Is the wording different? Because I don't remember everybody getting attack smoked after, like, fighting into 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 him. But maybe I'm just dumb. Um, oh, unless it's... Let's go take a look here. No, yeah, I mean, it should be. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm... I'm I'm tripping out here uh, because let's go look over here. Mm 
Yeah, I have no idea. Um, maybe that would take some testing to see if that's true or not. Um, but yeah. So there we go. Um, kind of a small review and, uh, like I said, experiment to see uh, whether that's worthwhile or not uh, in practice. Because, you can, I mean, you can just go to the calculator and see all that stuff. But um, for one, you know, let's kind of see how this feels uh, in real life. Uh, in addition to, um, you know, getting two vectors out of that wasn't a bad deal at all. Uh, and then maybe, you know, maybe next time he comes around, I'll get another two vectors. And that's a plus six, right? And then uh, once he's at plus six, you know. Because these banners, they're, they're not going to, you know, it's not like going to go away and suddenly, you know, I'm never going to get my chance to get a plus 10 vector. Um, but something to consider for all of you out there is like, you know, vector is one of the better deals to invest into is, is all I'm saying in terms of like a plus 10 unit. Um, he just got like almost no weaknesses and some of his weaknesses get um, fixed by just having raw stats enough to just bust through it and just destroy them right so you know what's what where are some of his weaknesses right just uh he loses to 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 res checks a lot of the time so mages and dragons but the fact that he can just one shot them back with a bonfire means he doesn't have to worry about them as much and then um basically you get a free win against anyone physical except for you know again there's a few like python might uh python and rat or wrath one or the other i'm not sure both of them are, are that good but um, you know, they might cause you some troubles as well. Uh, so it's important to realize that there's a lot of like different um, matchups out there that, that can potentially lose you, but he's so strong that a lot of times it's they, they probably won't, right? Um, and especially like at a plus 10, I can only speak to these things as a plus two vector user since like, like I got that plus two came out a long time ago. I got that a long time ago when I was like, I forgot what I was summoning. I was summoning for something, but I remember... Um, uh, armor, blue armor, Tiki, young Tiki or whatever was there. So I got two copies of her as well. Uh, and I got two copies of Vector in that process. I forgot who I was pulling for though. I can't remember. It was someone blue. It was probably uh, legendary Zura might've been who I was pulling for. Um, but the, these two, these Vectors I've had since then, um, uh, which is the point I want to make is that at plus two, he's still very strong. Like I, I, you know, I don't have any complaints for him. I can patch up any weaknesses he may or may not have. Um, I haven't run into a lot of people just destroying him and at a plus 10 a lot of these things become less relevant right so you don't have to worry so much about you probably have to worry about a lot less about uh, Jill and and um, you know Wrath and Python you know you potentially killing you because I've never like died to them but I hear a lot that those are very strong counters to him like because well when I search up right because for those of you who search up um, stuff I'm sitting there like I have to think about how do I counter Vector you search up these things, and Wrath and Python are, are some of the ones that come up a lot. Um, I've never hit, my mine has never had a problem against them, but you know, like I said they could, you know if they're a plus ten, fully invested, like all like you know, what's that? Um, you know, budding bow and everything, and you know that might you know cause a lot of trouble. So you know, I, I very have, I very much have to think about you know that kind of stuff. But like I said, there aren't a whole lot of counters to Bector, and a lot of the counters that he does meet up against, just the fact that you can retaliate with a with a bonfire that's that strong. Um, kind of makes them irrelevant as counters, right? So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully, you guys could take something away from this, learn learn a, a thing or two for from Vector. And um, you know, if you guys out there pulling for a plus ten Vector, I wish you luck. Hopefully, you get a better Vector count per orb than I do. And uh, I'm getting kind of tired of saying Brave Hector <laughs> all day today. So uh, that'll be it. Uh, good luck to you guys out there and uh, try not to get jobbed by the gotcha system. <laughs>